Hey everybody, this is Sipidus, and today we will be just messing around with Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to be showing you three of my heavy lifting rockets, which I use to bring anything into low carbon orbit. Uh, this one is capable of bringing in an 81 ton load. Uh, just to demonstrate that, I just threw a single tank in there. Um, it's the largest tank that Kerbal Space Program has to offer in, in its stock parts list. So without further ado, let's launch. And I'm going to be fast forwarding these launches uh, for the actual flights just because fitting three in a reasonable time would be challenging if you didn't. Uh, let's switch it over today. Okay. We are go for launch. Five one six and eighty five seven five. That's nearly perfect. With uh, plenty of fuel, one hundred and fifty three meters per second of delta fuel left remaining. So I could have gone with a little bit bigger of a payload. Didn't need it. Um, we'll just decouple, just for the sake of it. And there you go. That is my heavy lifter Mark One. Um, let's keep this let's keep that there and let's show you the next one this is the matlas heavy lifter 2 capable of what is it capable of doing I think it's you're able to bring up four of those large tanks and that is what 375 pounds or tons I should say um, what did I call it heavy lifter three maybe it was just the three I skipped over two apparently yep this is the one I wanted to show you it doesn't have the payload in there for some reason let's put it in Okay, that should do it. One thing I wanted to show you was the, uh, the very center, the last, well, one of the last, right? This is the last staging engine, but uh, I guess that's the second staging engine here. I combined two of those quad engines, I'm not sure what those are called, um, and kind of clipped some fuel tanks to make it look more uniform. There's a fuel tank there, I think there's a fuel tank there, and then a fuel tank in there. Um, also to provide enough lift for that, that second stage, because it's got to lift a lot all on its own. Okay, let's launch. Hopefully it goes as smooth as the first one did. It should. I have no doubt that it will. should still be daytime it is 
shaky start. Shaky start. Should be fine. Okay, let's launch. <laughs> explosion that you saw at the separation uh, well both separations but the first one was my little had some like struts some octagonal struts or I'm not sure what those were called those little support structures they just they crashed into the engine but luckily they demolished themselves and not the engine so they survived um, and then also I had to uh, redo the craft a little bit I had to throw some more struts on that you can see here those weren't originally there for some reason that shakiness that we saw right before launch was the uh, decoupler and the this guy the airstream the, the the whatever the protective shell for some reason it was they were colliding with each other and and it was ripping apart uh, so I had to just throw some struts down fix that issue plenty of fuel left over again we have about 126 meters First second of delta V, could have thrown more weight on. Good. This worked, that was a success. Now this is a lot of fuel. Like if you had a refueling station, I mean you wouldn't even need a refueling station. This is this would be it. You just uh, have the, a little, one of those arms that they have in the game and just come up, collide with it, take the fuel and go. But for the next one, I got stupid with it. I was like, you know, why don't we, I want to keep this up here, let's just go to the Space Center. Why don't we build a lifter to get what I just uh, launched into space. I wanted to build a big enough lifter to lift 1700 tons. And that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to show you. It might take a while to load but it is called the Matlas Extra Large Heavy Lifting Vehicle, HLV. Let's load it up and see. Now, luckily for you, everything's gonna be in fast forward. But for me, this ascent it could take like a half hour because my FPS drops because of all the parts. Um, I mean, maybe my computer's not that great. I mean, I know it's not, it's a laptop, but uh, there's 545 parts and it can and it will get the lifter we just sent up which was all this um, it's going to give all this part that you see in orbit with all of its fuel and it will probably have a little bit of fuel left over in itself it should, it did before and uh, the way I connected those these pieces was let's see if we can turn it around um, you know I have as you know I'm mean, gonna have two engines down here but it's uh, one central tank and so I just found where it was and connected this these struts to it and uh, so the f the first stage or the main stage consists of 24 engines underneath um, 24 times 3, 2, 4, 6, 72, 72 large tanks. And then the next stage is the center stage, and that'll be seven of these quad engines on top of, um, I don't know what, 21 
tanks. I don't know. It's a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Save for no reason. Launch. And hopefully it goes smoothly. Oh, it's going to take forever. Forever. It didn't launch. Sorry. There we go. But I think, what was it? How many units of fuel were available afterwards? Thousands, hundreds of thousands of units of fuel. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to load it. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. It shouldn't fall apart. I didn't change anything since my last attempt. There it goes. It's loading. Let's get my throttle up. Let's get my SAS on. Let's let it just settle. For what? I don't know. Let's back it up. That's what we have. That's what it is. It's a beauty. Okay, let's launch.
Alrighty. <clears throat> there you got it. There's plenty of fuel left. Like, plenty. Um, 490 meters per second of delta V remaining. Uh, yeah, these, this bottom row is almost full of tank fuel. Uh, so, there you go. Just plunker this down in space. And then you got an enormous, enormous fuel station. Uh, or just throw a docking port up there, too. Because I don't have one. Um, how many units of fuel do I have on this vessel? Remaining. Um, 100 and almost 160,000 units of liquid fuel and then almost 200,000 units of oxidizer. And how much does it currently weigh? Uh, let's see how accurate this is. Total mass 2,341 tons in low carbon orbit and I wouldn't I didn't take too long that was running much smoother than it did when I first when I first blew it um, yeah there you go there's my three heavy lifting rockets that I use to lift just various things into space um, I don't know what the heck I would use this for except for just experimenting maybe sending some kind of Jewel 5 mission, or Jewel 5 challenge. Um, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stick around, subscribe, comment, and please like it. And we'll see you in the next video. This is Sipinus. Bye.